estate planning strategies to keep the tax man away from your loved ones. It is said that the only two things in life that are certain are death and taxes. We do not necessarily have control over our time of departure from this planet, but we can take steps to reduce the tax our loved ones would have to pay once we do leave. Here are some important steps when creating an estate plan with your professional accountant, like Numbers Plus. The first step is to create a will. Having a will is critical to any estate planning, as it spells out exactly what assets go to specific beneficiaries so the taxman can be kept away from your assets. A will should be reviewed periodically to ensure that it will still meet your objectives. If the surviving spouse is named beneficiary to all assets, then the will creation is relatively straightforward. However, with divorce and extended families, wills can be more complicated and the asset strategies must be reviewed to match the family situation. In cases such as these, it's important for your professional accountant to be working with your lawyer to ensure everything is in proper order. The second step is to review your assets. So are all assets handled in the same manner? The quick answer is no, and we will review some of the assets and briefly outline different strategies for each. Asset number one, the principal residence. The principal residence exemption allows the surviving spouse and children under 18 to be given one residence tax-free. If you have given your spouse the primary family residence, you could give another residence to an adult child that does not currently own a primary residence. Asset number two, life insurance. Life insurance policies that are payable upon death of the policyholder do not create taxable income to the beneficiary. It is best to detail the beneficiary in the will as well as in the policy. Asset number three, trusts. Trusts are an effective method to split income as the estate of the deceased is treated as a taxpayer. The income in the trust is split to a spouse and children to give them income when required and is taxed at a lower rate. Trust can be established for each individual child or grandchild to reduce the tax payable. Asset number four, small business shares. There are enhanced capital gains exemptions based on the value of the shares at the time of death and whether there is an expected gain in the years following death. In some cases, distributing shares to your spouse, children, and grandchildren will provide them with income at a lower taxable rate. Other Considerations Charitable Donations Charitable donations must be clearly defined in the will and need to be carefully planned. There are hidden pitfalls in this area, and your professional accountant can guide you through to ensure that you maximize your opportunities. Debt Forgiveness Again, this must be carefully planned and clearly defined in the will. Personal debt forgiveness and business debt forgiveness each have their own challenges to the debtors involved. Probate Tax Planning In general, the tax is proportional to the value of the estate. Through several different strategies, the value of the estate can be reduced. These are very complicated and can create issues with the other tax strategies in use, so a careful review with your professional accountant is highly recommended. Call us at Numbers Plus today. We can review all estate planning strategies and create an individual planning strategy just for you that allows maximum benefit and puts more money in the pocket of your beneficiaries.